Hey, welcome everybody to Battle Pirates Crib. Um, I guess we're going to talk about uh, pillage and whatever else is going on. Uh, the link is in the right hand side in case anybody would like to uh, like to join. Um, it's still visible, so uh, go ahead and click on it if you'd uh, like to join the show. And uh, let's say hello to everybody. Um, Magic Mike. Hello to everybody. Uh, Pegleg. Greetings. Um, KB. Good morning. Good morning. All righty. Uh, I guess we'll briefly go through some things. Um, let's, uh, let's give it a click, Mike. All right. Um, okay. That seems like a reasonable fix, like on Wednesday. Oh, and on, um, on Wednesday, um, I thought based on, like, um, the way that certain things were phrased associated with the 10th anniversary, that there would be additional prizes since they mentioned offers and uh, let's get the party started with this one. But it, I don't know. It doesn't appear that there's going to be more than just uh, the one that we saw. Yeah, I don't think so either. I think part of the dates in there was to say if you haven't logged in right away within a, a day or two, there's a window to log in and get the prizes that are being offered. That's the way I I think it's meant to be. Yeah. Well, uh, there was also, let's get the party started with this. Like there was going to yeah. be, you know. Well, well, there's a party in the office there. They're celebrating with cake and whatever, but. <laughs> yeah. It's a little low-key <laughs> birthday. Yeah. I, I, I mean, the prizes were good. It was just the way that it was, it was phrased. I mean, it was good for some people, not as good for other people. Right. Um. But it was just the way that it was phrased with, you know, if you go back to the um, CM diary when they mentioned offer, you know, when they pluralized things that were sort of singular, I don't know. Um, and they acted like it was a month at that point, And then it got cut down to like uh, two weeks and getting the party started. So sorry about that. And unless we're going to get something, I don't know, next Wednesday or Tuesday, I have no idea. Yeah, before uh, the event, pop something new out. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't know, but yeah, when I was giving recommendations to potentially not spend the five-day um, uh, generic build token in case we got something specific, uh, it no longer appears to be relevant. That's why I was bringing that up. Right. Yeah, generally you'd think a 10-year would be uh, worth making a big song and dance about, but uh, they've been pretty low-key on it. I, uh, maybe they're waiting for 20. <laughs> a whole, don't, don't die on us now there's a whole lot of assumptions that go with that that I think are going a little too far at this point maybe well the 10th year anniversary for a marriage is 10 so uh, you know that's true I hadn't thought about that <laughs> yeah. yeah but it's uh, more like a gold anniversary with uh, online <clears throat> gaming isn't it 10 years is uh, not a bad effort to last. Yeah, in all honesty, that is that is saying something because a lot of games don't last that long. Yeah, yeah, especially the online games. I mean, some of the uh, um, some of the ones that were, you know, you bought on CD and they kept on reissuing them and whatnot, th those lasted, quite a few of them lasted for quite a long time. So... To answer Ninja Penguin, I think there are some, but I don't think they're the visible people that we often think or see about. Um, I think Peter's been there for about eight years. Uh, as far as forward-facing people, I don't. I don't, I don't think, think any, yeah. any game designers. I don't think there's. An, I, there might be some product people that are lower down. Um, there might be some customer support people, uh, but I, I, I don't know. <laughs> the person Peter. in charge of coming soon has been 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, they're making all their money off the shirts. So, uh, so all right, let's uh, move along from bug fixes. All right, we got the calendar. Um uh, this week is Pillage and Siege Breaker. Um, I've seen some people put out some videos. I think uh, Derpy was one of them. Yep. Um, for the Siege Breaker TLC. Um, and then Return to... Oh, that's for your uh, 
your reclaimers in regards to bills, tech, and um, upgrade tokens. So if you're not at X1, um, probably worth doing. If you're at X1, probably not worth doing. Um, return, return to Honor um, TLC um, next week. If you're not at X1 with your Ronins, go ahead and do this. Um, because Ronin's will be the secondary um, hall for pillage. You know, it'll be Everest and um, Everest and Ronin. So this gives you a chance not to waste uh, shipyard time if you can go ahead and um, earn those upgrade and build tokens to further polish off your Ronin's. And we got the raid the following week, and. Um, yada 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 and i you know i could complain again that uh we are going to get the um raid hall specific uh tlc pushed all the way to pillage week and there's not a lot for other people to do that don't participate in bounty for a couple of weeks each month so hopefully they'll change that at some point soon once they take a look at the numbers um as far as engagement and whatnot, but we already talked about that. So I don't know. Um, I'll probably bring it up next week, but you know, I don't like to. I, I'll just mention briefly, cause we did talk about it and we, I think most of us agree that a little better spacing on those things would, would be good for engagement. Although yeah. you do have the players that say, well, I'm, I don't want to have to log on and do something all the time. There, there's a little bit of, of can't win no matter what they do, either it's too much or it's not enough. We give well, you the, they give you a break and you don't have to do so much. And then while well, I'm not being entertained or engaged. Well, but yeah, but you have like two weeks of doing nothing and then you double the work quote unquote work for the third week. Yeah. And the fourth week. So, it, you know, so it's sort of like two weeks, nothing to do. And then two weeks, you know, scramble. Yeah. Yep. So, um, it has some other ramifications as far as tech, because I think some people probably, me included, weren't claiming certain um, tech items in the TLCs. Uh, I mean, I'm sorry, in the raid, because I knew I could get it in the TLC, either the next week or the following week. So, my builds were still ongoing, and I realized, okay, unless I just have extra points I want to spend, there's no reason to claim, you know, because, like, I never claim, like, the normal weapon. Right. Don't waste the points if you don't have to. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm going to get it next week. So there was no there was no point in it. So I don't know if that's part of their their mind, um, you know, what they got in mind, but I, I don't know. Um, and bounty, high ground for your... Um, uh, Everest TLC, uh, Everest uh, build tokens. Uh, I didn't, I should have looked. I wish they would still give out the entire list of prizes. Um, Mike had to remind me on the pre-show that there are avalanche mortars in the, in here. I They're expensive, sort of like the, the Golden Eagle was, but they do show slight improvement. And if you're getting plenty of points, um, just click on the garrison um, tab, and uh, you'll see that those are available for four, you know, four point five. So, uh, yeah. forty five or whatever they, are. yeah, forty five mil, yeah, whatever they are, yeah, 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 whatever they, yeah, whatever, yeah, whatever they, yeah. After. <laughs> yeah. So, alrighty, um, I guess there's not much else on the calendar. Um, so let's, uh, let's move on again. This is siege breaker, which I was encouraging people to do that aren't an X one and have everything built out. Um, it's well worth doing. If you haven't, uh, I, you know, unless you want to spend those upgrade tokens on a, you know, on the second fleet that you got as a gift, I, I don't know what you're, you know, why you might be doing it. <clears throat> so let's move forward. Unless somebody can come up with another reason. Um, <clears throat> just to review again, 
as far as we have the uh, um, we have the Ravager that we're going to win next week. Also, a reminder to um, be saving your you know hopefully this week and last week you've been saving your uh, your FM tokens to get your Ravager out as soon as possible. Um, but this is just where each individual part of the uh, of the uh, the Ravager tech is coming from. So just be aware. Um, any thoughts on the? Um, I don't know. Oh, the other the other issue with the Ravager. Once we we find out is how many armor slots it's going to have. Um, you know, I don't know. Anybody have anything? You know, I'm basically repeating what we talked about on Wednesday. Because anybody else have anything on the Ravager? No, not really. No. Okay. I noticed. No, I'm saying nothing on it yet. So we're gonna. <laughs> Carry on. I know. I know that you did mention um, some of the options you were showing as examples with the multi-shot when you're showing calculating stuff. Um, and I've seen some people ask, what should I get of these, I don't know if they're tier eight, tier nine specials, whatever they are that are available in pillage. And frankly, we don't know. We don't even know if they'll necessarily stack with anything in combination. Um, well, 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 if you want to go forward, Mike, how far? those will those stack. stack with each other. So I, that's what I know. Um this way? Um, I don't know. Keep on going because I, I, I remember the slide he was talking about. Store. Did I do it afterwards? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did. No, keep on going forward. Okay. Okay. One, one more click. Again? Yeah. Yeah. I mentioned yeah. Uh, the scatter system 2 and the launcher system 7 and 8. Right. I, I put them out as examples as far as like where – and one more click, Mike where you know that it's reasonable to think this this dot max damage is um um gonna, probably going to be achievable in one hit maybe yeah but we can already get it with the older tech but this is probably not the optimized tech to be using right there's there's scatter system two and there's another one in there that is it a frenzy feeder so i forget the name of it it's another scatter gun type related special that's also available in there um, and, and, you know, if you have the points, great. I, ideally, you're going to want to use the new tech. And my point to, in that I replied to the thing was, we simply don't know what's going to stack or be blocked from stacking when it comes mm -hmm. to old and the new tech. So, yeah, I mean, I have like what I think I have like 23 available of scatter system too. I don't know what, you know, must have been a TLC or something you did that gave you a lot of them. Yeah, I mean, because these, the do these yeah, yeah, I scrap. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I, I'm. I don't know if I, because I was trying to find a way to scrap the rab, uh, the uh, zealot as soon as possible. I really didn't like that haul. Um, but that's not the. That's it's. It's it's not the mana core. Was it the mana core? Yeah. What is this? It was the mana core it came I out with, so. right? Yeah, so if you're around for the mana core, you probably have plenty. There's probably no reason to claim any of these unless you want to keep your mana core around for some reason. Yeah, I just had a look. I got 36. Of them. Yeah, yeah. So um, <clears throat> unless you're new to the game, there's really no reason to go out of your way to get this kind of stuff. And that was not my intention. That was sort of the reason I was a little bit leery of posting these. Is the people think, oh, you should go get Scatter System 2. Um, that really wasn't my point. It was just to show we got a multi shot of three with corrosive. I, I expect that one of these uh, specials uh, is going to be an escalation on this. Um, I doubt we're going to get more. I, don't, I doubt we're going to get more multi shot. No, it'll probably be more <laughs> corrosive damage. They just seem to up the yeah. damage a little bit with each iteration of weapon or special yeah and if anything we might get us i don't know i mean both because uh, we have supercharge of seven on conqueror uh, with, but it's conqueror defender limited so i i don't know and it's probably not necessary i don't think it's necessary to get to max stacks you're still going to be doing i should have run that calculation um 
um, of 1680 times um, um, 1200. You're still doing a, a huge amount of damage. So that's just something to be considered. Um, um, I don't know. What else should we be uh, discussing? Anybody having real issues with the pillage targets? I I think they're frankly the pretty easy. Pillage is my favorite event because it's it's usually always doable and uh, yeah, that period. It's usually yeah. always. Yeah, yeah, it's sort of a grind fest if you're at X one, yep. um, um, or I mean, even with the uh, uh, Everest, it's not really even all that difficult as long as you you know have been claiming and keeping up with keeping your everest up um fairly well um you know you two through you three um area yeah um and you know like i always recommend you know i'm not sure you know how long the everest is going to be around but with the, the garrison halls the second um well actually the the first raid in a new cycle is a perfect time to upgrade those because you have your ships that you're working on. Like in this instance, it's, it's the uh, reclaimer. Um, and that first, uh, and that first raid, your main priority for your, uh, for your shipyard was building and upgrading your reclaimer. But once you, once you get to that, um, once you get to that raid, um, you don't really have anything to put in your normal shipyard. So I always toss my Everest in there and upgrade them. And that's when I upgrade mine. Yep. So it's all, you know, in the timing. Makes sense. Uh, let's see. What else should we be discussing? Um, um, I don't know. Everything's sort of uh, status quo. It is. I mean, Wednesday we had the release of the information with the pillage price stuff, but you're just cruising through pillage. There's not a whole lot going on beyond that. Base heading is still pretty darn light. I don't see a lot of it happening. Yeah, yeah. And... Um, I was bringing up in the in the pre-show. Uh, my only difficulty with the targets is um, some sort of stuttering within the targets, uh, some sort of lag, and it's I'm still maintaining like uh, frames per second above sixty, but um, like every twenty seconds, everything just goes black and just sort of, it doesn't go black. All my ships stop, and then two seconds later, there's all the uh, all the projectiles that have been fired in the previous two minutes are now firing and going off the map and doing all sorts of weird things. And I've been running into that for the last couple of days. I get that when I change tabs. You know, mm -hmm. if I look at another tab while something's autoing or something and come back, it, <clears throat> it does the old catch up thing because of the, the new HTML5, I'm sure. I don't know. Yeah, maybe from, but that's not what I'm running into, and I'm still trying to solve that problem. I'm not sure if anybody else is running into it. I um, don't seem to remember any of that stuff going on. So, could you have a lot of temporary files, maybe? And no, I've I've cleared out. I, I'm, I, 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 I'm just seeing if anybody else has had those issues in in chat or whatnot. I don't want to go through a, uh, um, you know, a uh, no, I, 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 on, on my on my uh, on my end. No, I've uh, you know, I've yeah. cleared. I've cleared. Everything's everything's working good on my side. So I have had that be a problem for me at one time or another, which is why I ask. Mm. Yeah. So, um, 
And did they announce a winner of uh, Don't Tell Me Without Telling Me contest? Can't they did. Uh-oh, what was it? Uh, they, they, they say they do it uh, randomly. Yeah, but, no, they, they did announce it, and of course, I don't have it up at the moment, but I'll go grab it while you're chatting. Okay. Um, yeah, I was just curious, because they, they, I stopped doing it once they said, uh, we're going to do this at random. I'm like, okay. <laughs> you know. Um, so, like, put everybody's name in a fishbowl and just pull one out? Uh, yeah, yeah. Well, unless they, you know, decide, like, you know, it's, you know, fuck kicks or something like that, then they're fuck. probably not going to pick it. How you turn on the... Oh, hi. Uh, does anybody um, anybody want to screen share so we can answer this for Lego? Mike or well, I, Big I, Leg, I, KB, anybody? I have to drop the slides. Um, KB? Um, yeah, we can try. I think okay. it's in the settings. Uh, yeah, it's, it's in the settings. I just, you know, yeah, it's, if you go in these settings and you go further down, uh, pretty much all the way at the bottom of settings under, I just don't remember the exact well, words. Um, show, okay, if you go in. You you click the gear on the right side underneath the yeah. on the bottom of that mm. command center uh, screen. Then effects yeah. is the second tab, and it's the yeah. very bottom the very bottom option. Show F FPS counter. So and there I you go. There you go. That is exactly it. So. <clears throat> Um, I heard that uh, one of the mods said I didn't explain uh, damage over time correctly, but I never got a, uh, you know, I never got a, a reason why. So I don't know, take everything on Wednesday as a grain of salt, but I, with a grain of salt, but I, I don't know. I heard it secondhand that that's what was said, but I'm not really sure. I went off on it for a while. I'm not sure if we should talk about it again. If you want to take uh, two steps back on this, uh, Mike. Um, if anybody has any questions in regards to what's going on on the right side of the screen. Um, Do you mean about getting to max stacks? I don't know. I, I just heard that, you know, uh, you know, but sometimes the mods are a little salty. You know, so, I, as I discussed in the pre-show, somebody somebody deleted all of my and Lego knows somebody deleted all of my pictures of uh, of uh, um, my uh, Nicholas Cage pillow collection. So, uh, <laughs> and then how that was that was at the, uh, the request of Derpy. Derpy Derpy found them disturbing. So uh, <laughs> so. Uh, but if anybody has any questions on how this works, I thought I, you know, did a pretty good job. Um, you know, we, Lego, you you were a fan of those pillows, weren't you? They, they were uh, comedic gold. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so yeah, um, yeah. But if anybody has any questions in house or in chat in regards to the uh, uh, how damage over time works. Um, we can all field them. Maybe Derp, Derby said he's showing up a couple minutes ago, but I haven't seen him yet. To uh, maybe he'll come in and explain what I did wrong. But I think generally I got it right. I mean, Peg, like you, you've uh, you've been dealing with this. Uh, do you yep. recall anything that might have been questionable? Well, yeah. I mean, you got into the DPS thing, which I wasn't too concerned with. I don't know how much people need to be overly concerned about it. But in general, in the general sense, you've got it right there. There was a formula I had put up on, excuse me, on TFC that, that kind of lays out how it, how you get up to the calculating it. But um, it's, you know, you pretty much covered it just doing it slightly differently. I didn't see an issue with the way you presented it. 
Okay. And oddly enough, while I know I saw the uh, winner thing mentioned someplace, I'm not finding it now. No, he says it's, it's going to be announced uh, soon. So it's like the rest of it, it's coming soon. <laughs> yeah, okay. Well, it seemed like it was stuck into some odd little spot, like it was an afterthought when it got mentioned, is what I recall. But Well, I, I had a quick look at the uh, at the forums, <laughs> and he's got posts right at the very end to say the deal announced the winners okay. soon. Okay. I mean, what, I, which, couldn't which... See, I couldn't see any actual announcement, so I'm... I'm assuming it's still coming soon. Yeah, and he said that on uh, April 6th. So, okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I mean, you know, because so, I think uh, coming soon was actually probably the answer that, uh, probably the most popular answer that they got. Yeah. So, a little bit and of an we, we all know coming soon, the kick's time could be anything from in the next five minutes to the next ten years. Yeah. So, has anybody watched the uh, the Russian version of Lord of the Rings? That's on YouTube now. No. Uh, no. <laughs> well, it's it's a Soviet era version. Um, I don't know. I have not watched it yet. I don't know Russian. I'm waiting for somebody to translate it in subtitles to English, but y you could tell what's going on. Uh, but it's all in Russian, so I haven't uh, I haven't gone through. But uh, yeah, it's it's basically uh, it's basically Lord of the Rings, and um, what year was that? It was eighty, what, early nineties, late eighties. So hey, Derpy, have you watched that? Hey, how you, how's everyone doing? Oh, pretty good. good. Well, All right. Well, not to come in here and say your math is wrong, but your math is wrong. Okay. Uh, that's what I was expecting. Okay. Well, what's the problem? See that you're dividing 2 million stacks by the damage per stack. Okay. That's not accurate. So what is accurate? Well, you're going to end up buffing the stack. I mean... Um, you're gonna end up buffing this thing. Every this this uh, this every time you hit a an enemy with this thing, it applies a stack on them. Okay. And uh, the max stacks that you can actually use is is fourteen hundred, and you get that by taking that you want to divide the max damage per second, which is two point one million. Yeah. Divide that by by the damage per second per stack, which is 150. And that will give you 14,400. Um, do you have this written up somewhere so I can Let me Yeah, let me see what I can what I can pull up. I I do have something somewhere, so Because I'm trying to visualize what you're what you're saying, and I like to see equations. The, yeah. Yeah. Okay. One moment. One moment, please. All right. Let's see here. But what you're saying is that we can already uh, two clicks, uh, Mike, forward. Yeah, we can already achieve max stacks with a single salvo. No, you can't. 1480. Okay, all right. No, 14,000. Oh, 14,000 stacks. Damage. So the max damage per second you can possibly have and that's useful yeah. is, is, is 2.1 million. To get to that 2.1 million, you don't divide by the damage here. You divide by the damage per second from each stack. Because every stack that hits does damage over eight seconds. So it's 150 damage per second from every stack. Uh -huh. Which damage over time, max damage. The implication is that this stat right here is per second. 
not over eight seconds. Okay. Explain it. Keep on going because, I mean, all I'm thinking is these blueprints have been written in such a way that nobody can figure out what they're fucking that's, talking about. That's correct. So yeah. Templar, three years ago, went through several iterations talking through with Kixai how this thing worked and how it was designed. And he ended up figuring out that this was what it works like. I have not obviously tested this because I don't think I've ever built a single damage over time weapon. But this is how he tells me it works um, mm -hmm. and how it's posted on forums and how he says Kixai has, has, it, has had it confirmed. Uh -huh. So yes, you were assuming that this 2.1 million damage number is over. That's the max damage allowed over eight seconds. One no, being I, told I, I, it's I, the I, max I, damage allowed I, over one second. One second. That's what I said. Yeah, that's DPS. So 14,000 stacks, which means you need, with with a few specials that I just threw on here. So okay, I, I understand what you're saying. But it, yeah. takes, it takes roughly 10 volleys to get up to max damage. Not, uh, not so, it's eight, it, so it's eight times what I said. Right? Yes, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's... I mean, they stopped CM Diaries. And this... This is. I I don't think the CM would know how this worked. I'm I'm sorry. So, uh, um, GD Diaries, they've stopped those, and it really doesn't. I mean, they when they do things like this, you need to you need to have somebody explain it that knows what's going on. I'm sorry. The G, they they keep on doing the CM Diaries, but the GD Diaries would help explain this to a certain degree to keep everything publicly accessible from Kixai, which is, you know, yeah. Okay. Um, no, that, that it does make sense, but yeah, explaining it um, would be helpful for, uh, I think, a lot of people. Derpy, uh, now that you've got this up here like that and saying <sighs> that you can't do it, you can't get to the max unless you've had 10, you know, volleys of, of the stuff off the guns. You know, maybe trying to achieve that maximum number isn't necessarily going to be the most critical tactical part of, of what we do with these. Yeah. You want it to be strong, but you don't necessarily want to worry about trying to get to the max. Yeah, that uh, that's certainly a potential because maybe these targets have 1 million health and you don't need to do 2 million damage per second or so. Right. Maybe you want to focus on the corrosive damage and get this 96 number increased. Yeah. But I but you would need some really high numbers to even compete with the two specials that I've shown right here. Or like 10, thousand percent high. Right. But like I mentioned on Wednesday's show, I mean it could be a case of doing drive bys to borrow mm -hmm. the term, but you know, drive by you blast your target with two, three of these things with some decent splash on it, whatever, and get the heck out of dodge. Don't take any more incoming mm -hmm. damage yourself and let the and corrosive then, do its thing. Yeah, then eight seconds later, that heart target's hopefully dead. Right. Yeah, and it's you bring up a, a good point about the splash here. I I'm not sure how that works with uh, with the stack stuff and how much that's needed in projectile speed. And we haven't even seen the dar darn hole yet. So. Right. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's all speculation. Let's face it. But. But it's it's going to be if damage over time ends up being the main thing. And it ends up being way easier to get that up higher, and that's how the targets are designed for. The really important part is that corrosive damage boosts don't help the damage over time. So if everyone and their dog, whatever, sticks on corrosive damage, thinking it helps the damage over time and it actually doesn't, that could be an issue, which is, you know, something on forms. Other, I, I something on forms would be nice. Or in the game, or it's it's a very confusing weapon. Yeah, I mean, but the fact that they provided four specials for it, and you have to assume what are, whatever specials they give us are the best ones, right? But they're giving us they're they're giving us four specials for this, and so I mean, probably the other one's going to be like evade, and I don't know, you know, there's not really it is uh, it is hard to predict 
what's going to happen in the future associated with this one. That's what, I, and I agree with that completely. And yeah, and what, you've got you've got what? corrosive and penetrative, and it's so you got to figure that there's going to be missile turrets, and I suppose missiles coming off some ship. So evade would certainly be helpful. Yeah. Um. Well, it, yeah, we're, we're going to have the hull specs for um, a month before the raid, Paul. I mean, we're going to earn it, and then we have the next raid the following month. Um, unless you're talking about um, what specials you might get to use with it, I'm, I'm not completely certain. And why did you go with insulated uh, charge capacitor over... Because uh, it was the first thing uh, that had supercharged that I searched and came up with. Okay, I was just checking because I, I like launcher, uh, launcher system. Well, that's that's only got three X supercharge, doesn't it? Not, mine's got six. Okay, well, well, maybe so I like the combat speed. I don't know. It's it's an example, but yeah, sure, he could use the six. Oh, 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 I was just checking. Mine's got six and plus thirty uh, combat speed. Well, I'll I'll go talk to my marketing department on that one. <laughs> okay. And as, far as, as far as the, as far as the, uh, are you coming out with a new line of derpy pillows? I, I no, I don't know. <laughs> no, okay. No, no. Okay. I, I, whoever made this decision to use the wrong special should obviously be fired immediately. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's <laughs> say. Um. All good. Um. And more. Bearing system. I, I, okay. Over um, scatter system two. I, I don't know. Okay. I think this one is we more multi shot, that. but these are, these are literally just random examples. <laughs> one of these four specials uh, we're getting will yeah, probably replace both, one or both of these. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yeah, it's, uh, they're both plus three. But, um, okay. Um, that is, uh, that is interesting, um, and yeah, I guess I should have got that. But the way things are explained is needs to be improved, um, unless everybody's just like, okay, put the new stuff on and everything's good. And that's the way that they've sort of explained it so far in my mind. You're not wrong on that. You know, don't don't try to understand it and just sort of like, you know, push ahead. Go with the flow. Yeah, yeah, okay. You had a, well, she's got pink nail polish on. I should put pink nail polish on. That's sort of you know, logic is what I'm seeing here. But, yeah, I, it, it does, you know, at least in my mind, it makes me want to have uh, um, the game designer diaries that explain sort of things that either haven't been in the game for a long time or are newly introduced to the game. So, um, yeah, and then I'll, I'll quickly add here that, that uh, Daniel Pegleg has talked through some of this stuff base multi shot plus out of multi shot times supercharge and then times number of weapons. That's like the key equation you want to take out of here. As opposed to what? As, as opposed to, I don't know what. Well, if you have. But, if, but, but the idea that supercharge and multi shot help. If you multiply one by three by five, and you multiply five by three by one, and you multiply three by one by five, you start with the same number, right? Uh, yeah, sure. It doesn't matter what order you put these things in, but whatever. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, that's, you know, I mean, that's what, I'm, when you multiply everything together, you still, no matter what order, you still get the, you know. If well, you're, yeah, uh, I'm, I'm trying to say multi-shop, supercharge help. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You obviously didn't watch the Wednesday show, did you? No, I did not. You're busy. <laughs> yeah, it's a, it's fine. It's just sort of we, uh, you know, all good, all good, sir. Um, so you could have left that slide in there. No, I'm kidding. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure what that means, but uh, all right. Um, oh, I can't go back to show it to you because it's not there anymore. You can go back to what? The slide. Never mind. No, there, there it is. I mean, you know. Is it there? Uh, yeah, it's, a, it's no. You're on. not. You're not. Obviously, I didn't uh, get the effect I was looking for. Never mind. Okay. 
Yeah, so so that right there generates 1680 stacks like you said, but that you need you need like eight of those Wallys to achieve max. Okay. Not not one. Okay. Uh, yeah. I don't know what to say. I mean, it's it's. Uh, it's I, I don't know. I, I, how would you change the stat block in order to make this? I I would change DOT max damage. I would change that to max stacks and write write the value of it. And yeah. write and write in special abilities. Corrosive and building damage does not affect DOT damage. Yeah. Okay. Or when you hover over it or something. Yeah, yeah, because it's it's not you know if people are going to start adding in other things or have expectations, it's uh, the way it's presented doesn't really it doesn't work um, for me. And maybe they're you know more. My thought is as far as how they're going to. Um, bump this up is I don't think it's going to I don't think the special is going to be that different I think they're going to add supercharge to the uh, to the hall at x1 but that could be just me supercharge multi-shot whatever yeah whatever yeah. Else. yeah I think it'll I don't think it'll get added to the hall and not get added to the uh, to the weapon or you know to the specials so and then there's the whole uh, DOT interval information that isn't there. Yeah. We're also running on the one second assumption because it's the most common. I mean, but. Does it does it matter if there are we we assume there oh, are no, oh. no deflections? Well, oh, but it, okay. it, it wouldn't. Let, let, let's say you drive really in, you drive in, you hit a target. The DOT and you do the raw damage, which is the 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 ninety six plus whatever specials you have, right? So the the DOT damage doesn't occur until the first interval frequency, right? The first time that interval occurs. Right. So if it's four seconds, you're not going to get that damage done until four seconds later. Mean, meanwhile, you're taking four seconds of damage from the turret or whatever's, you know, um, you're firing upon. But if it's 0. 0.2 seconds, that's a, a big difference than four seconds. And it's still a big difference relative to uh, to one second. So that that's why yeah. I, I think yeah. it's important. Well, I, I actually asked what that thing was. I did not get a response. So yeah, yeah, neither did I. And I got a thumbs up as far as that it should be included in the blueprint. But, <laughs> yeah. And uh, but yeah, as far as the number, I, I do not know where that number is. So um, I don't know. Um, you got anything else you want to talk about for about two minutes? Well, not especially. Well, I need to go get another beer, so, you know. Did we talk about Village yet? Did I, I miss that part? Yeah, well, we, I, we touched on it briefly, but you could, uh, you know, promote your videos you've got on it. Well, I, I, I'll, I'll say I have not driven a single target this village. Oh, my. Now I I've been autoing even the Everest one I've been autoing the last six months the uh, maybe dri driven once or twice uh, that that one's a nice target to auto. What kind of damage are you getting on auto though? <laughs> I I I don't know. I just go to the fleet stead and that's oh okay well yeah, that works yeah yeah the uh, the photon ECM is not a very pretty target to auto probably no, takes I was ask you that. An, an hour. <laughs> More than I was just saying on the Wednesday show, somebody was in chat and they said that there was an hour and I forget what it was over an hour's worth of damage for yeah. auto and just one of them. When you can do it for free or darn near free on the map, yeah. I finally I, figured out how to do it free. You yeah. watched my video to figure that out? Uh, Apparently, I should go watch mine. Actually, I did. <laughs> Actually, I did. Yeah, well, um, ah, I mean, hey. my mistake was not killing all the buildings. So yeah, the, those the buff buildings first. Yeah, that that can help. You know, ten percent. After doing that, and, uh, you know, I had to make a mistake to get uh, base repair. Yeah, otherwise I, I was on the water. Yeah, I mean it. It's a target that can be driven if you've got a mostly X one fleet for instant repair on the map. But I don't really like that target. 
Well, I cool. don't have a lot of time to go to go through and hit the things. Um, I don't want to deal with the pop up stuff, even though it it's sort of fixed, kind of. But I yeah, so I've I've just been autoing it. Um, I think I I'll be on track to get points. Maybe I'll drive some more. I actually did drive one target with the U zero fleet just to see how it did, and that got around an hour damage. But uh, I'm. I'm not even going to, yeah. Um, I think Cafe did it for under three minutes. Uh, I I almost do one now, but I've got seven hours left on that repair, and uh, I'd rather not spend fifteen gold. But oh, <laughs> I, I, I yeah. I've gotten anywhere from four minutes to right around six, unless I massively screw up something. Yeah, yeah. I usually get three to close to seven. Well, it depends on how tired I am when I'm doing it. If I'm falling asleep at the keyboard. Yep, I had I hit I went through two rounds of the TLC Siege Breaker. First one went fine, all instant on Mapper and Bay. Second one I messed up, hit a fuel silo, got an hour damage, so gave up. Oh, no. Which flight did you use, dude? I've only tried my Gladius. I've not tried Reclaimers. Yeah, because the the little blurb on. On the game suggests to use the uh, reclaimers for the thing, and I, yeah. I, I must admit I haven't started the the TLC, so I don't know. But I was worrying, given that the uh, reclaimers got a lot less uh, range, so I was wondering how that fitted in with some of the some of the buildings and stuff. Yeah, well, you mentioned the blurb on the game. Is that why they pushed back the the TLC to this week? Because they knew they were giving us the ships? Mm. I mean, maybe. I I was I can run through the a few targets with the U Zero fleet, see how that goes. Yeah, well it says redeem your ten year anniversary free gift now and use your Reclaimers in this week's Siege Breaker campaign. So either they're uh, promoting that to get some nice damage out of it, or <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it does not sound like oh, a good my game crashed. <sighs> yeah, I, I I'll try it here unless they're they're dead by the time I log back in. In which case, I will be linking a support ticket to this and uh, expecting my my fifteen gold. If you're careful, MK Pond's gonna hit those two on that TLC. So yeah, because the uh, the the, uh, the Punisher have range. It's like ninety nine range. So and they fire over and mountains. Shoot over mountains and stuff like that. Yeah. Yeah, I'd, I'd be tempted. I would think the U zero Gladius fleet would be the best one out there, but. Well, it doesn't fire over mountains, though. Yeah, that's true. Um, so it'll be a bit tricky to use, but it's at least designed for the target. Let's see if I can load back in the game without it crashing on me again. Okay. It's uh, It's been spinning. Okay. <clears throat> I'm probably stuck on a fuel silo, taking damage from every everything in the game right now. Potentially. Okay, here we go. We're we're getting back in there. Okay. All right. Well, you took some damage. I I can't tell. I'm getting one frame per second. Um. Oh, because you crashed. Maybe you haven't taken any. Uh, maybe you have taken damage. It's hard yeah, to tell. Well, the, Your web GL might be down. The bar at the top in a bit, so there's probably uh, an hour's damage on it. All no, 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 no. Because he doesn't have a range. He doesn't have range either. And Pardon? so, um, I, Derpy's not the best. My one. my computer's probably doing too many things at the same time. Well, well, the issue is when it crashed. 
And this is a good thing to for everybody to know. It's a learning moment. If you crash, uh, just just leave it up there for a second, Derpy. If you crash in the game and then you go back in there, you're going to see this characteristic about uh, a six of your health is gone, and you don't have a range. You, you see the auras, but his range is gone, if you guys notice this, right? Right? Yeah. yeah. Yep. Yeah. And this means that your WebGL is not getting translated over to the game. So what that means you need to do is basically refresh, shut down your browser and start it over again completely. Not reload. Reloading a tab has not worked for me but you need to restart the browser completely in order to get the range back and to get a um, correctly what, you know, um, your, your health is because his health is down, but it's not as, not as far down as what it's showing up on the uh, uh, upper left-hand side. Well, we'll try and refresh here. We'll close the close opera, open opera again. Okay. So you're in a different, uh, you're in a different uh, browser for this? Yes. Okay, okay. No, that's, that makes me not want to play the game much, you know? <laughs> Just, uh, get, getting tired with all these all these things happening. Yeah, well... But, yeah, the hard crash... I mean, trying to figure out what's going on with the hard crash as far as what causes them. I mean... It, it can happen with um, internet on your side, something weird going on on their side. There's multiple things that can cause it. Um, but if, if you want to figure out if this is going to be something that you're going to see before you hit a target, take a look at your uh, HD turrets. Okay, see, so he's got his range back now, and his damage has gone down, right? He doesn't have as much damage. Yeah, it's, it's gone down slightly. Yeah. Yeah, these guys have a real short range. Yeah. I'm going inside here because I don't care enough. Are well, you going to take a, a boom damage off the uh, when you pop those? No. Well, it looks okay. like the small ones. I'm I'm just out of range of. But I'm probably in range of this short range. Yeah, they take you know a few shots to get through this. Yeah, but the short range turret outranges me. Yep. At least I fire over mountains, but I tried the uh, first encounter oh. and it was map repair. This is the free fleet that they're giving away at U zero that doesn't have full armors and all that stuff, right? Yep. Oh, no nice. changes made. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it, I don't it, know if we're it, going to go through all seven encounters here, but I don't think we'll make it that far. I don't think I'll make it that far before I log off. Well, I don't think you'll make it that far. I don't think unless no, you can start it. Will. Yeah, I don't think unless you start cleaning it, I don't think the fleet will make it that far. Well, that's kind of misleading advertising by Kixai, isn't it? Complete complete seven of these rounds in seven days and with the fleet that they can't do it if we determine that to be the case. Well, were they talking about the TLC or the raid? No, no, the TLC. If you have a look okay. on, on top of on the top of your game, it says says re redeem your ten year anniversary free gift now and use mm. your reclaimers in this week's siege breaker campaign. And use your reclaimers. My, yeah. my, no, nah, it's, it's, it means, it means what KB is saying it means. Yeah, I, I know. Being a smart owl. Yeah. But, uh, maybe you can go work for their law firm or something. I don't know. <laughs> Defend them against the lawsuit they're about to get hit with. But, uh, my, I asked, hey, you know, can we get these free fleets at like U2 when they come out a year later? So they're actually useful for stuff. And the response I got was, well, you can use it in the TLC to get upgrades for it. Okay, five, five days at a time with a fleet that maybe can't make it through. I don't know about that, but okay. 
Well, is it? Uh, is it- uh, okay. how, how, how far does he get before he dies? I bet I finish it. I don't think he finishes it. I, okay, how far am I going to get then? Um, I haven't no, hit this one. Get five. Yeah, I was going five or six. I wasn't going to seven. Oh, ye of little faith. See, see, now I got Derpy Zander up, and now he's going to try and there figure you go. out hey, with the short range and how to and how to get this done. Yeah, because all it's going to take is 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 uh, you know lighten up one of those uh, fuel tanks. Well, he's not going to light the fuel tank, though, is he? Not the big ones. Not, I can't light the big ones, but the small ones. If I get in range of a few of those ones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the big ones. He's never going to so, set off. Yeah, the big ones are generally the ones that cause the problems anyway. Well, yes, with the range of the Gladius, but with the range of the Reclaimer being so much shorter, you, you, you need to take a little bit of uh, um, a little bit more finesse. Ooh. He took a bit there. Finesse is my middle name. Did I did I take some there? Yep. <laughs> Derpy finesse cow. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, it looks like you're gonna make it to five. One was seems to be the most damaging. I. Well, that's because we we had that issue where my my game said no. Okay. Oh, this one I entered on the wrong side. Are you the person on YouTube that has the video on what side to enter these targets from? Yeah, and I <laughs> ran through these things twice, and I did, you know, look through where where, where to enter this stuff. So. I was just making sure you're the same person. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Ah, ah, okay. There's some mountains. <laughs> That's not that bad. So this target you want to enter on the left, top left. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I come in on the bottom left, and I pop it and work my way up. But you know, everybody does their own thing. How do you? How do you pop this one? I come in in the mountains down below you, and I pop from there. Okay. I can pop the big guy and blow the whole middle of it and everything else away. I, okay, I, I like right here. Now with these, it'd be it'd be a bigger challenge. But yeah, I essentially do. So that. you have enough pierce to get through, or you yeah, just, you, you get over the big dead can, one. But you can pop those guys there, and then you can pop the big building. Okay. You know, I'm Mr. Damage Averse. Me too. Hate it. What I was going to say earlier, though, is when we're talking about these fleets, what you know, what is the reasonable expectation when you're given something for free, though? You, you know, ought to be able to complete it. You generally know the kicks build's not going to be as good as uh, the player build. Especially this time when it's limited to weight. At the time that they give these things out, though, they ought to be the best build. Just my opinion. The best build available. I mean, so that it doesn't need to be... Jump. They, you're giving it for free. I, it, it could be... Understood. I mean, it, they do get... Really do you need something. the limited weapons on it? I mean, uh, well, it the does help. And, I, I mean, my 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 look at it is those that are already there doing it, they're going to be able to do it. And there's those that are struggling, right? Then finally, it's they're at a point where it's no longer really needed. Then the ones that can catch up should have the best available, so that they can at least start to catch up. And stay in, 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 you know, excited about uh, what they're doing. It, I don't think it would hurt kicks at all, really. And they, yeah. it's not like they don't really know what the best build would be. I mean, yeah, they're the the standard build is is pretty standard, and I mean, it's using the the few specials they gave out, the engine, and a few. I mean, it's it's to get with the with the build they want you to go for. It's fairly straightforward. 
it, you, you can do some weird things, try and make it, oh, you know, like 10% better or whatnot. But yeah. I mean, the build that you guys come up with are, are obviously not the ones that they give out. But they're quite similar. Okay. Well, I, I, I didn't, I answered before I heard you finish talking. But yeah, the. No, I was done really. I was just making a kind of a statement. Yeah, the. The, the builds they give out probably have the unlimited special or a special a tier lower or something on. Yeah, they, they need some work to get them to the best, right? To get them to the most reliable, best, uh, most effective level. They need some work. Mm -hmm. So if they gave those to players that don't need them i mean i hate to say you and i because i can't include myself with you you guys but i will say you and i don't need that stuff because we've already done it but there's a lot of players that are struggling that that would really get them involved again and i think once the darn thing is about, they usually give them out when they're about you know done with yeah we, we just got the photon fleet at the same time as actually this one and yeah you're done they're, with the cycle, so why not give out your best? Yeah. Or or make make it where it's just, you know, a couple of you know, maybe you gotta change a special or something, not all the weapons. Because now you're instead of building your new stuff, you're trying to upgrade your old stuff to be able to catch up to get some of the new stuff, and I'm having a hard time explaining it, but maybe you know what I mean. Well, what is it about a fifteen percent difference between uh all the well, limited weapons and the, the main, just the, the free fi weapon? 15% less damage from the weapons, 15% less damage from special number two, 15% slower ship on combat speed, 15% less armor and survival. And I mean, it, it kind of adds up. So if I was way behind. less armor, isn't it? Because well, they got a couple of uh, plague yeah. ship. Yeah, two instead of four, but so it's half. If I was way behind and I could do some of this stuff for a coin or two repair rather than some of the guys do it instant or on the map, I'd be more inclined to do that rather than have 10 hours of repair time. I, I don't know. Disregard. I mean, I'll, I'll bet you most of these are an hour damage. Maybe an hour and a half that I've been doing. Although if you can complete the whole thing in one run, that's fine. Which I think I'm going to be able to yeah. do, despite right. what Hefner's yeah, been think telling you. Pretty well, yeah. Unless you have a major malfunction. No, I agree with that. If you can do it, then okay, I back off and. <clears throat> if they're giving you something you can't do it with, it's like after kind of implying that you can, I just have a small problem with it. Hmm. Then again, there are those that are going to auto it or try to auto it and then complain that it doesn't work in the field. Hmm. And, crap and, and that's, well, yeah, yeah, you can't auto this with anything. So, yeah. Yeah, yeah these big silos just make it... They list... They, even in this one, they list target one or two as auto-friendly when it's actually not really. Yeah. That's kind of on the player, though, right? Yes. Well, but, but if they, you know, like Derpy said, if they, if they say you can auto, it's auto friendly, uh, you know, that's sort of on them. Uh, yeah. I Depending on your definition, right? And, and does auto friendly mean you're going to get like base repair? It means they can complete the target similar repair to driving. Die. Right. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I did this target a different way, but it's it's, it's working out. I, I think I usually enter off on the right. Yeah, Is that what I said? Yeah, I go up here, then rotate down clockwise. Yeah, yeah that's what I normally do. But, this, <clears throat> but with the directional turrets, this seems to be another reasonable pattern. Yeah, I mean, if we're, if we're simulating a player... You know, brand new player, they're not going to take the, the best. They're not going to know how to take the best path, and they're going to drive stacked and whatnot. We're trying to see if an, if a new player who just came back to the game has been in for two months or whatever, 
can actually complete this target, then I'm not going to micromanage every single thing. Yeah, uh -huh. it's all good. No, I'm just yeah, you may make because uh, I don't remember how many throwers are in the other one in the last one. But you can still sneak in. Uh, okay. Last one is quite quite large. Yeah. yeah. Man, there's a number of shockwaves going off on you. Yeah. Every shot. All right, the evade's too low. So am I, am I making it through Encounter 7? I, I, it's, I haven't hit it this time because I don't, you know, I, I don't remember what that target looks like, but I was, I was with the Gladius, I was getting through, when I hit it last month, I was getting through with the Gladius for, at worst, in, um, base repair. So, yeah. but I yeah. have the range that this does not have. And this was always a tricky part at times. But, you know, with the, the way you covered it. I think I took some damage there. You yeah. did, but you actually weathered it better yeah, than yeah. I thought you would. Yeah, yeah, be because the big one went off on you. Two, two big ones. Yeah, so. Yeah, I didn't completely kill the fleet, so. I've got enough survival or armor points or something. I think that's what it comes down to. You're a tier above on the survival scale, and that's kind of offsetting, you know. Yeah, because with the with the Gladius, you usually trigger this guy right here to kill that whole center, but yep. I, I can't kill the big one at all. Yeah, because I would send, you know, with the Gladius, when you came in from the top for the center island, I would basically send one in and then have it run away real quickly. I don't know. We'll see. Is, is Derpy going to make it through uh, all I seven? So. He's got about uh, half a fleet left, roughly, I think. Mm -hmm. Well, what what do I get if I say I'm going to lose and then I, I, I lose? Well, see, see, then you can tank it. There's no real... Uh, yeah. And this, this one's more of a strategy, you know, as far as, like, what do you take out first? You know, it's one of the targets, you know, one of the the targets I like because you got to figure out, you know, how to, un how to unlock the puzzle. Yeah. <clears throat> Which I, I seem to remember. I generally did by going this direction. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. How far in here can I get? Yeah, that's good. You don't really have to go into that right now, though. No, I don't. No, it's, it's, it's not the best move. Well, maybe I'll do it anyway. I mean, it's just three turrets. They were already shooting at me a little bit, so. Just, I don't know, wasted some time. Yeah, okay, with these ones, as there's someone well, pointing as far as Chuck wave, as far as Chuck, Yeah, you go up and around him because there's ones you can, you know, these guys you can take from the back. Yeah, and you shockwave like nobody's business because once you're at that critical stack buildup, all of these turrets right here. Um, hit it, get a shockwave every time once you're at that critical stack. Unless you yeah, pause for a long but time, but get to wear uh, off. Yeah, yeah. Somebody's cracking a cold one. It's happened before. 
and it'll happen again. <laughs> All right. No, it looks like he's going to make it through this unless uh, one of those fuel silos blows up in his face. But, yeah. I'll bet if two of them blow up, I could still get through. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, the survival is... Uh, oh! I didn't get... It didn't fire, I don't think. Okay, these ones, I don't know if I'm far enough away or not. There we go. All good. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean. We've got a lot of things going on this week with the t with the TLC I have to do, the pillage I have to do, and yeah, there's plenty to keep you busy. That's for sure. And good thing is that it can be some of it can be autoed, some of it can be done for instant map repair, and with your X one if, if you have that and. But. I don't know if you heard the question earlier. Do we think that they waited to run this TLC till the week before the raid because they knew they were going to be giving us this? Um, well, they did it. Um, they're planning to do it next next week too, right? This TLC? Well, the uh, raid-specific TLC. You mean next month? You said no, yeah, I'm, so, I'm sorry. Next next month, they're planning to do that as well. Okay, where's so the, where's are we going to have a what? I was just looking for the last building. Okay. Um, okay. So so that part is a little bit concerning. My goodness, you did much better than I, I think everybody thought. I, you I told you I was going to make it through. Yes, yes, you know, yeah, um, I could go back to, uh, let's see, oh. Seven That's hours, 26 it. minutes damage for seven targets, I mean, two coins per target. Uh, um, uh, Mike, do you want to refresh? Okay, and then go to slide three. He might be AFK, but oh no, there he is. Okay, slide three. Full screen. <laughs> Please end. Full screen. <laughs> So, Derpy did very well on this one, you know, beyond expectations. Now, if you want to see me hitting the base, I will do much worse than expectations. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I assume you're not watching the, sli watching the slides. Right? Oh, I'm, I'm looking at the slide. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I preconditioned you to this one, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Um, all right. We've got an hour and 15 minutes. Um, uh, there's P Paul chimed in. I, I missed the comment. Yeah. An hour and 10 minutes damage on a 145 on auto with X, X ones. I believe they were. I yeah. think that's what Paul told us on Wednesday. Those were an X one fleet. He was using to do it. So, <laughs> Yeah, um, he got what one? He got less damage on. He got uh, less. Uh, he he did that on um, the Wednesday show, but it was more or less damage. I thought it was like one one thirty five, but I could be wrong. But don't you know? I don't know. 
I wouldn't recommend uh, autoing the uh, the 145. That one, the difference is that massive, no. Yeah. Okay. Um, all right, everybody. Um, is there anything else anybody wants to talk about, or are we all good? Hope everyone's okay. saving their FM tokens. Oh, absolutely. Yep. Okay, everybody. Well, thanks for showing up. We'll be back on Wednesday. And uh, thanks, everybody, for showing up and um, commenting, contributing. I do have a question for some people that have made it all the way to the end of the show. Um, how do you actually get notification that the show is happening? Because Facebook is making it quite difficult to actually uh, share links and whatnot. I got to refresh every time. It's like a whole fucking process at this point. Um, I was going to throw um, Battle Pirates Bacon under the bus because, you know, I thought nobody was watching from there until, you know, somebody put a like on there. But I'm curious, like, how many are subscribed to the show? How many are, you know, how are you guys finding the show? Because it's, you know, it's a whole freaking process to, uh, to just, you know, post it and, you know, because oh. it used to be fine like a month ago, but now Facebook is making it a whole different thing as far as, as far as doing it. Well, you've got you've got your post on TFC, and of course, before I was coming on the show with you at times, I had also subscribed, so it always I always got the alerts on uh, YouTube. So I had two I ways I was getting it. I'd always get the alerts from YouTube, and okay, so I you're know, subscribed. When, yeah, I know when you're going to be on, so I'll click on it, but all the times it won't pick up the current. It'll it'll go to whatever previous. Uh, Previous show has been so sometimes I miss the start by you know a couple of minutes because I'm mucking around trying to get the current the current version to come up and I presume it must be a, a YouTube thing. Yeah, I'm assuming it's a YouTube thing, but yeah, I'm just trying to figure out because it you know like I said it, it's become like a process to. Even though I'm, uh, besides uh, TFC, the other pages I posted on, I'm either a mod or an admin. So, but I'm just trying to figure out, like, but it's still like a pro. They've made it a process in the last month, and it's not an enjoyable process where you got to re, you got to uh, refresh everything, and then you know go through this whole process in order to do it, in order to share links. It's it's not enjoyable. So I was just. Um, um, yeah, yeah, well, so good. So, it's not necessarily enjoyable trying to get the bloody show up on on YouTube because so I've got a I refresh and that doesn't work. I don't know what the issue is, but you know, sometimes it comes up first go, but other times all I seem to get is uh, the previous version of the show. So by the time I've actually got it up and running, it's a couple of minutes in. Okay. Yeah, most of the people that are watching are subscribed or, the, you know, in chat. So that's interesting to know that uh, – and it'll be interesting to see if we, uh, we get comments later on as far as, like, how people are – are finding the show but you know it's all good i'm just i'm just curious because it's it, youtube over the last uh you know month or so has made it much more difficult to to you know post another uh, you know facebook pages and whatnot i'm not sure the reasons behind that but yeah but thanks for everybody for showing up and um and uh you know Appreciate you you showing up and uh, um, let's see. I'll post the uh, nope. Um, I was going to post the uh, the link for the after show in case anybody likes to join. Um, 
and see. But um, any parting words of anything I'm, we missed? Or, or I fucked up, you know, obviously it appears that I fucked up with uh, dividing uh, dividing things, but yeah. Anybody have anything else they want to discuss? No, I'm just looking at my hair here. Uh, you're enjoying this, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Alrighty, people. Um, see you next week. Okay, we have four shows. We used to have four shows. Now we're down to one. I three shows, right? What was the four show you were watching? Did Pornhub have a de- uh, version of this? Oh, you you know you're on it enough. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, I'm still trying to figure out what the four show he was watching. There was there was price. Oh well, if you count damnations, it's separate from price. Oh, okay, 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 yeah. But they, they never uh, coincided, did they? Was there? I, okay. I don't think they did. Okay, I, I think we maxed out at three. But thanks everyone for showing up. We'll be back on Wednesday, and. Um, yeah, we'll see if uh, you know if Derpy does anything else with his hair, and uh, I think we all hope he does. But it d- looks uh, looks great at this point. So later, people, and uh, thanks for showing up. <laughs>